Um, how often do you rebuild spherical end links? Um, I, um, you know, I, I would say it's not uh, something that you need to do unless there's a certain amount of play that you don't like. So at some point, you know, the, the two uh, rotating components where they are wear items that just like any other joint that, mm -hmm. that uh, is in contact with another metal surface. It's probably going to be like every one to two years, depending on what you do with the car. Yeah, it's so condition specific um, and vehicle specific. It's, it's hard some to cars that you might have to do it after three months, you know. So like on on race cars, these are these are parts that often get replaced, you know, every few races, depending yep. on where in the suspension is and how much it's moving. So, you know, like a sway bar end link, which is just kind of acting under compression and not really rotating that much. Um, it, it's going to last longer, but you have a, a, a suspension component that's pivoting you know, thousands and thousands of times, um, uh, you know, it's, it's going to wear a lot faster. And then the yeah, forces on top. I, of I, yeah. People may not realize quite how much movement there is in those, in those, uh, joints. It's literally every marble, every, every piece of gravel you're going yeah. over. That's any micro movement of the wheel and tire that's is, is directly translated to the sway yeah. bar. Cause it's, it's a, you know, they're linked together. Yeah. So, um, is it okay to grease the spherical end links? The actual um, end links, we no. typically don't say to grease them. Uh, what grease? Well, I, would, I would advise against this yeah. because the problem is, so all the sphericals that we offer are Teflon lined. That means there's a, there's a, a very slippery coating of a very durable, low friction material that's adhered to the spherical ball. And that means that there's no metal on metal contact and this Teflon coating uh, reduces uh, any uh, you know any amount of friction yep. the problem is when you put grease in there um that 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 tight tightly tolerance teflon coating is just going to sweep and squeeze the grease out of the way and then all that's going to happen is dirt and dust and yep. abrasive materials will stick to the grease yeah it becomes a, it becomes an abrasive magnet for yeah. for these balls so if there was a way to keep all the dust and abrasive material off the surface then grease you know, I'd say sure. Right. Um, so yeah, if you I mean, could if somehow do it if inside it's, a boot. If it's in our booted setup and it's yeah. really sealed, but even then it's not, I don't think going to do all that much for you. So, so all, all our, life all our boot is designed to do is keep water, moisture, and abrasive materials out of the joints. When, when, when you have a boot that does that, you don't need any additional lubrication and the joint lasts forever. And, and that is precisely because the joint is already lubricated with Teflon. Uh, there are other kinds of ball joints where it's a it's a metal socket type joint, and the grease is the lubricative. Yes, there are some that are yep, metal on metal or metal on yeah. or it's steel on bronze or whatever. But because yeah. of the Teflon lining and and it's a much more expensive bearing and spherical yep. that we use, because of that you don't need any of that stuff. So yep. um, it, it seems like a good idea, but no, it's not required. The only thing you do need to grease is our uh, sway bar bushings. Yep. And you want to use a special, uh, again, uh, it's like a PTFE Teflon type yep. grease. Uh, I believe we're going to be adding that to our website soon. Yeah. We'll have a little, uh, little kit. That yeah. Has the, the grease cartridge and a gun, the for gun. It. but, but the, those, those, uh, materials are readily available on Amazon as well. So yep. we, we don't care where you buy it. Just maintain the product. We want you to buy the sway bar. Yeah. But we're not in the, we're not, we're not the, you know, the uh, grease sales, the, the grease sales gun. People, so we don't care where you get it. We'll we'll offer it as a matter of convenience, but um, it's all out there. So, um, someone's of course we got to get this out of the way. Yep. Two step B eight S four update. I think um, we have some great news. Yeah. So that's pretty much uh, wrapped up at this point. It looks like yep. um, it's working on, on both versions. Really right? well on the B eight and B eight and a half. Uh,